On today's show, we're going to build this handy barbecue cart. Hit it! Now, anybody who knows me knows how much I love barbecue and smoking meat. And when I'm prepping food, it just seems like I never have enough space. So something like this can go right alongside the grill. Plenty of work surface on the top, lots of storage room for charcoal, ingredients, and I've even got the ability to store tools over here, which is really cool. Um, and perhaps my favorite feature is the fact that these tiles can be removed and taken into the kitchen for cleaning. Now the project is made from three quarter inch plywood and we're gonna build the entire thing in the back of this 2017 Honda Ridgeline. Let's get started. Full sheets of plywood fit nicely in the back of the Ridgeline. You'll need just one sheet for this project. Break the plywood down with a circular saw and a clamping tool guide. Make the first cut at a little over 44 inches and then rotate the piece 90 degrees. Rip 12 three inch strips and six two inch strips. These are the structural components of the cart. Cut the remaining piece of ply to approximately 34 inches long for our shelves. Turn it 90 degrees and rip the two shelves to about 16 inches. These parts will be cut to final dimension later. Cut the leg parts and top rails to the appropriate length. On the inside face of the long top rails, drill the holes for the handle using a Forstner bit or a spade bit. Make sure your dowel rod fits snugly. With the two tiles laid out as a guide, assemble the frame. And don't forget to knock your parts onto the ground a few times. My tiles are 17 and a quarter inches square, so keep in mind that you might need to modify the size of your parts to fit the tiles you have access to. Pre-drill and countersink first, and then add some glue to the short rails and clamp them in place. To avoid splitting the plywood, be sure to drill a bit further into the short rails before driving the inch and a quarter screws. To make sure the tile can be removed later, use a thin spacer between the short rail and the tile prior to driving the screws. Before attaching the final short rail, cut the dowel rod to size and drop it into the holes. Now secure the final rail. And that right there is our top frame. The legs are made from two pieces assembled in an L shape. You can attach the pieces with screws as we did with the top frame, or you can use some 18 gauge brad nails if you have a brad nailer. I'll just do that three more times. Attach each leg to the top frame with glue and one and an eighth inch screws, creating a quarter inch recess for the tile. To support the tile in the center, attach two strips of scrap about a quarter inch below the top surface. Now it's time for the shelves. Measure the length and width of the shelf directly from the cart itself, since it likely differs from the plans at this point, and trim the shelf pieces accordingly. Glue and nail the long strips first, followed by the short side strips. You'll need two identical shelves. Now let's install them. You can locate the middle shelf anywhere you like. I'm putting mine at about 19 and a half inches off the ground. The shelf is attached to the inside of the legs with screws. For the bottom shelf, simply make it flush with the bottom of the legs. Flip the whole thing upside down and install the casters. I like having two fixed casters on the far end and two swivel casters on the handle end. Hey, look at that, it works. Now you can either plug the screw holes with dowels or simply fill them with wood putty. Give the whole thing a nice sanding, break all those sharp edges, and if you want to, use a router to add an edge profile. All that's left to do is install the tile and the hooks. You can even use the ridge line to transport the barbecue car to your next tailgating party. And the tools stow away nicely in the in-bed trunk. Now you're definitely going to want to either paint this or apply a good quality marine varnish to it. This way it'll be protected from the elements and if you get food bits on there, you can clean them off very easily. You also might want to consider using marine plywood, uh, something that's meant to withstand the conditions outside and that'll help this thing last a lot longer. But even just a good quality marine varnish clear coat on top of this interior plywood is still going to do a pretty good job. Now if you want to build this barbecue cart, you could download the free plans at our website, thewoodwhisperer.com. Let's fire up the grill. Dinner is served. 